hey guys welcome or welcome back to my channel let's make a fufu for you guys please stick around and watch this video the ingredients are i have two plantains this is green plantain and i have cassava and we also call them yoka so we have a two plantain and one cassava. First, I'm gonna start by peeling the plantain. So I just want to take these out of the skin. And now I'm going to go ahead and peel some cassava. I'm just going to chop this in two like this. Oh my. And I'm just going to follow this line and I'm gonna, just going to peel right around it like this. Now I'm gonna cut these up because I'm gonna blend them in the blender so you want that you want to cut these up into size that can blend into the blender. Now I'm gonna cut the cassava up. I'm gonna take out the middle these things in the middle you want to take them out I will throw away any discoloration out like this we're trying to do it you want to go ahead and wash these under the pipe now I'm gonna go ahead and blend this into my blender I'm gonna add some water I'm gonna add all of this to the blender. I'm gonna add some more water. And this is about one cup of water. Now I'm gonna puree this. Everything is nicely blended and smooth. This is how you want it to be nice and smooth. You want to get it smooth as possible. No chunks or lumps in it. Look at this. Now I'm going to go ahead and add this to the pot. I'm going to turn the stove on medium low. You want to turn this on low to medium, not high. You don't want this to cook on a high heat. Because you don't want it to burn. I just wanna, you just want it to cook enough I'm 
you just continue stirring this after mixing for about five minutes it's gonna start to get thick and start to form some lump you just want to mix this it's gonna feel tight it's gonna feel tight and thick or thick just want to keep on mixing it You have to have good arm strength to make this guys cut. Now I'm gonna add about one tablespoon of water to it. And I'm gonna cover this for about five minutes. So after five minutes, this is what it's looking like. And I think this is about done. If you want it thinner, you can add some more water to it. I'm gonna add some water to it just so I can take it out of the pot I'm gonna go ahead and wet the bowl like this with some water so it don't stick and I'm gonna pour the fufu inside here And there you have it guys, this is how I make my fufu. So you wanna wet your hands so it don't stick. And you can also move this around. And shape it however you want it. If you reached this far into the video guys don't forget to subscribe like and share this video and also leave me a comment down below Thanks for watching this video you can go ahead and have this with some green and you can go ahead and have this with some greens and peanut butter soup pepper soup okra soup cassava leaf soup and fish stew chicken mixed with fennel stew you can go ahead and have this with whatever you like or whichever choice you like but this is how i make my fufu Thanks for watching guys. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. And this is how I make my fufu. And fufu actually just tastes like porridge or something like that. It just tastes plain. It will, it will be nice if you had something to it. It's not that tasteful to just eat like that. It just tastes like dumpling if you make a boiled dumpling or something like that. So this is how I make it. Bye guys.